So far we only have one page on our admin section and that is the dashboard page. We are going to be creating other pages very soon and wrapping them around div elements that have classes or CSS classes that we defined in the previous video to make sure that their page contents are also responsive to mobile devices. But before we start creating those pages and adding the responsiveness uh, boxes, I want us to do a few modifications on the code base first. This is one of the classes, these are two of the classes we defined in the previous video for the responsiveness. Uh, these ones are the behavior at this breakpoint. Uh, we are setting the width of the medium box and the large box to 96% and we are leaving out 4% so that there should be some spaces around the sides of the boxes. Now I'm going to change this to 100% because there is already uh, a padding property that assigns a horizontal space of 10 pixels to the left and to the right of each box. So there is no point in giving it a an uncompleted width uh, simply because we want some spaces around the box. All right, so that's all the modification we need to do here. So let's move on to the next modification. Uh, you do remember that we created an assets folder and I mentioned that this is where we are, we are going to be uh, keeping our CSS, our images and our JavaScript. So now it is, a, it is time for us to move our admin underscore style.css file into where it rightly belongs, into the CSS uh, folder under the assets directory. So I'm just going to move the admin style file into the CSS folder. And since we were using this file inside our dashboard.html, I'm going to make sure that I modify the href for the style file to point to that new directory. And to arrive at the new directory, we need to step out of the admin folder and then into the assets folder. And to step out of a folder, we use double dots and then a forward slash and then we can now step into the assets folder and then css folder and then finally the admin underscore style css file we were also using this admin style file inside index.html in the root folder of the application so let us modify the path also now index.html is in the same directory as assets so we'll just begin from assets and then css and then admin style.css all right so we have transferred the css the next thing we are going to transfer is the javascript uh, specifically this javascript that's responsible for uh, toggling the sidebar open and closed. Now we are going to have many pages in the admin section and all of those pages are going to have a sidebar. So this script is going to be repeating uh, across almost all the pages in the admin section. So what I want us to do is I want us to move it to a file inside the JS directory on the assets folder and then we link to that file inside any of our HTML that needs that file. So what I will do is I have selected all the JavaScript for the sidebar responsiveness and I'm just going to cut it. And then I create a file inside the JS folder on the assets directory. I'll just call it admin.js. And then I paste the code I just copied. Then we go back to our dashboard.html file and then we'll uh, provide a script tag that links to the assets directory. Uh, nope, I have to step out again using two dots and a forward slash before I can step into the assets folder and then JS folder and now admin the JS. Okay, so when we have done this, we can refresh and everything remains the same. So our changes are good. So now we are proceeding to the next step, which is creating other pages and then making sure we reuse the CSS classes we defined in the previous video. 
to make those pages responsive. We are going to begin by creating the manage posts page. So this is the page we will begin by creating. Now the posts is going to have many other pages um, besides the manage, the manage posts page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder under admin called post where I'm going to be uh, placing all the files that relate to posts in our admin section. Now the manage post file is like the index file for posts. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to name it index.html. It is going to have a very similar uh, structure to our dashboard.html. So I'm going to copy everything inside dashboard.html and then I paste it inside the index.html file in the post directory. I scroll to the top and then uh, things we have moved, um, things we copied this code from dashboard.html which is inside the admin directory and then sent it again a level deeper into the post directory. We also need to modify the href accordingly so that it points to the uh, CSS file. So we'll add another double dot because we are stepping out, out of two folders before accessing the assets folder. We also need to modify our, our JavaScript. We'll also step out before we can get uh, we can get to the assets folder. Okay, the next thing is to change the title of the page. We just call it admin post or uh, manage posts. The header is going to remain the same for posts also. The sidebar is going to remain the same. And uh, this is the area where we are interested in making changes. Now, the first thing I want us to do is I want us to wrap the entire content of the manage post page inside a large box. All right. And remember, large box is one of those our CSS classes you defined. So this large box. OK, so let us give a div of large box and then everything goes inside that div. Okay. Now, if you are on the, um, let's say if you're on the dashboard page and you want to go to the manage post page, when you click on this item, it should direct you to that page. So let us go to our dashboard, uh, dot HTML file. And then in the code for the sidebar, we are going to link the post item to the index HTML inside the post directory. Okay, all right. So this has taken us to our index.html inside the post folder. Uh, let us change this to posts, just to be sure that this is working. All right, and it is. Okay, so the first step is we have created the file. The next step is to write the HTML for the contents of this page. And I'm just going to, um, go through the HTML from top to bottom. We already have a title. The next thing we want is this underline af just after the title. And I think there's another component. Yes. Okay. So after the underline, we then have this mes message component. So let us uh, begin with underline. We're just going to uh, add a horizontal row and that will produce the underline effect. And the next element is this message component. So this is going to simply be a div of class message. And whenever we want to display a success message, we will just add a success class. If it's an error message, we will just do error class. But let's leave success as the default for now. So inside this message component, we have a check mark. So let us search in our icons library. Okay, so if you search, make sure you switch these tabs to find the one that you like. 
our own is the solid one that is filled so we are going to click on the field tab and then we click on the icon we want click on this uh, code snippet and it will copy it to the clipboard and then we paste it here then we are just going to give this a class of message icon and then the message itself will be inside a span element and we'll simply say this is a sample message and that is all for the message components we are moving on to the next one which is the featured post now this one is actually going to be a form um, because uh, you will need to submit enter the title of the post you want to be the featured post and then click update to submit so i'm just going to leave a form here i'll give it a class of featured post form and i'll leave it blank for now and the reason is uh, there is a bit more uh, technicality going on here uh, we have to do some javascript where you click on the change button and it transforms into a form and all that so i want us to do it in the same video uh, i want us to write the html for this one in the same video as when as where where we are styling so we write the html and we style it in the same video so that we uh, better understand it so i'm going to leave this video here and then we'll continue in the next one uh before we go um let us see the state of what we we have achieved here so we have added just a few elements and already you can already see the large box uh, at play uh, first of all we gave the admin container a maximum width oops where's our css okay we gave our admin container a maximum width of 1000 pixels and then margin 0 pixels auto so it is the auto that is centralizing it and you can see the limit of our 1000 pixels now thanks to the um, large box that we put uh, we wrapped all the contents inside if we um, if we shrink the size of the page down you're going to notice that the content is responding accordingly and uh, it's very responsive so we don't need to apply extra responsiveness styles to the content of the page as long as we wrap it around the large box all right so in the next video we are going to proceed to fill this page uh, and with other elements and then style them